Yeah. And I always say I'm in this for both a good time and for a long time. Mm. So I have to look after myself. And yeah. that, that means putting yourself first sometimes. Now, Kafupu Land talks a lot about teacher well-being, and it's something that comes up a lot during our Paki symposiums. Obviously, people are worried that in the growing stress of the profession, that beginning teachers will become anxious or overstrained with the demands. So I asked them about the importance of teacher well-being and what a beginning teacher could do to make sure that they don't burn out and become too stressed. It's so important to me because of the attrition rate that we were chatting about earlier and burnout rates and um, because it's a service industry, people just giving everything of themselves to this job, which can happen so easily. I've yeah. seen myself going in that direction so many times over my career. And I worry that young teachers too, new teachers being so enthusiastic, can accidentally give so much of themselves yeah. that there's, there's nothing left. And so it's really important to have a support network around you at home as well as at school. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm lucky I have a very, very supportive husband. I have a great family. Um, and I know not everybody has that, so you seek it out in other avenues outside of school. Um, everybody has to have a hobby. You have to do something outside of school that is just, you know, just you. Because you can lose who you are in this profession as well because you're just giving all the time. Looking after your health is really important because it is a calling. Teachers tend to, they go in when they're sick. Because it is harder yeah. to stay home than it is mm. to go to school. Because you've got to prepare all your lessons, you've got to ring in, you've got to email in, you've got to you know, create some kind of fancy lesson plan that somebody else can deliver because you're not there and you worry about the kids and um, all this crazy stuff goes on in your mind. But you have to look after your health. If you if you let your health, your physical health and your emotional health slide, you've got nothing left to give. Yeah. And I always say I'm in this for both a good time and for a long time. Mm. So I have to look after myself. And yeah. that, that means putting yourself first sometimes. Yeah. And um, I also have a sabbatical principle, so I take one 24-hour period off every single week without fail where I do no schoolwork oh, wow. and I just relax and do something fun and yeah. you know, hang with my family and I, I've always done that and I think that sort of keeps you going, keeps you fresh. Hey Kafupal Land, you may be wondering who this person actually is that's interviewing Emma in this video. Well, my name's Lee Melissiums and I'm the co-founder and president of Pracky. But what is Pracky? Pracky was an initiative that was created by beginning teachers for beginning teachers. We aim to support pre-service and early career educators through best-in-class digital media and in-person symposium events. Over the last two years, the response has been amazing. We continually connect with some of the best educators Australia and the world has to offer. We've also seen an amazing response to our in-person symposium events as more and more beginning teachers start connecting with the Pracky community. I hope you enjoy this video and this interview, Kafupal Land, but if you're interested in Pracky and want to give us a go or to see what we're all about, head over to pracky.com. If you like what you see, why not join our community of real-world practical educators giving advice in the way that you like to communicate. If you chuck your email address up there, it'll be the best way to keep in contact with what we're up to. We can easily give you our latest blog posts, videos, articles, and let you know when we're gonna be in town for our next symposium events.